Hi, I'm Dia and you guys are watching Pianosaur. So it's been a while. I had my exams going on and then you know I started this series on my channel called T-Rex and Tacos. And it's a series where I you know like invite people and I talk to them about all things books. So far I have done two episodes and episode three is coming. So anyway, it's not about that you know like as you can see from the name of the video i'm gonna do a tag by, which was originally done by covers with cassidy so if you don't know who covers with cassidy is she is this really amazing youtuber who talks about you know indie books a lot and she sort of got me into reading indie books and she was not the only person like i'll come to that in a in a moment but anyway like i used to watch her spfp vlogs and all that and she came up with this tag and i thought why not do this tag you know because i've been reading hindi since november of last year and since i started you know like reading hindi it has changed my reading habit and all that so yeah here's the tag the first question is what got you into reading indie fantasy two things happened so firstly i read sword of kaigan earlier that year and i absolutely loved it and if you don't know sword of kaigan was the winner of the third or the fourth spfpo competition if i might be wrong about that but it was a winner and i was like if that book can be indie like if indie book can be you know that good so maybe i can i'll find something similar in this batches like in this batch of books so i decided that i would read all the spfpo final finalists and i did not manage to do that but also what happened at on the side was that i got a kindle unlimited subscription and after getting the subscription as one does i googled you know fantasy books kindle unlimited you know i got a bunch of recommendations and one of those was yarn's world by benedict patrick and i read the first one and i was like so okay indie fantasy i'm going to do this that's how i got into indie fantasy and then i never looked back like i have been reading almost exclusively indie fantasy since then and by indie i mean independently published or self published like not any one of the big five publication houses so that is what indie like that is what i mean by indie so next we have what is your favorite thing about indie fantasy my favorite thing about indie fantasy is that you can have anything like starting from okay i'll give you an example one of the most unique books that i've read is seasons of alberon seasons of alberon you get one story one short story per season and they are all interconnected and they all come together to make this you know bigger narrative and that's how the book is so you get something very unique like that you get something uh like a touch of light which is epic fantasy you know like high stakes and all that kind of epic fantasy but with a twist so you have a large spectrum of books and it caters to almost everyone's needs like another unique book that i read was renia by carl forscher and that book is like this you know genre bending amazing book which is you know like defies all the rules of genre and everything like that and it has a little bit of everything like a little bit of dystopia a little bit of sci-fi a little bit of uh, horror a little bit of uh, steampunk so you have you want something chances are that in indie fantasy you will have that you know already present uh, in the market 
so that is what i love about indie fantasy is that it's this wide variety of things and it caters to everyone's needs so that is what i love about indie fantasy the next thing is question is what is your favorite indie fantasy book or series a lot <laughs> So, firstly, uh, Seasons of Alberton. That is one of my favorites. Uh, they mostly come out at night by Benedict Patrick. That is another of my favorite. Renia by Carl Forshaw is another. Then, A Quiet Vengeance by Tim Hardy is another, which I have covered previously in my videos. And uh, The Lost Sentinel by Emma L. Adams. It's a very very fun book and what else so recently i have read the sparrow and the oak tree and that is going to be one of my favorite fantasy romances and i don't like romance but i really love this book so you know like there are so many i can list at least 10 books that <laughs> are my favorite so yeah then we have what is one high priority in the fantasy on your tbr who um brotherhood of the eagle by tim hardy that is one of my most you know like that is a high priority series on my list and also the rest of the yarn sword books so i only read the first one which is kind of a shame <laughs> but i need to read the other ones the other three or four are there and yeah so those are my top you know priority where do you find about indie books so i <clears throat> there are a couple of places so twitter discord youtube and reddit so these are the places where i find you know more about indie books authors are on twitter and also spfb a competition and bbny a competition so these are the places where i find about indie books so authors are on twitter so you get to see what they are coming up with and all that on twitter discord there is this uh, server called india court server and there they have you know a lot of authors who talk about their work and all that youtubers you have cassidy you have domnish books you have melan or reads uh who else fazila so you have all these people who talk about you know indie books so that's that and reddit also is there where you can find kindle unlimited books and all that so yeah then we have an indie fantasy you would recommend to someone just starting to read indie okay that's interesting just starting to read indie uh, i would firstly ask them what kind of because indie fantasy is not a monolith it's very diverse so i would firstly ask them what kind of book they read and then i would suggest something that will suit their taste but one book that i will recommend to everyone like regardless of the you know like preferences and all that is seasons of alberton like that book is short that book is something that has like the four stories you have themes of family you have themes of loss you have themes of grief and themes of change so these themes are very universal at least i feel like that and these will you know like pull at your heart strings no matter what kind of books you want to read so seasons of alberton next we have your favorite indie fantasy cover oh <laughs> i mean indie fantasy you have great covers and you have not so great covers and the great covers can be really great so renia has a great cover i have the book i can show you the cover like what it looks like you know the physical copy but i'm too lazy to get that so i'll put up a picture over here 
सो रेनिया हैज अ ग्रेट कवर सीजन ऑफ एल्बोडॉन द एट नेम ऑफ द सीरीज इज एट चैंट सीरीज एंड बोथ द कवर्स दे आर टू बुक्स आउट करेंटली एंड बोथ द कवर्स आर लाइक फेनोमिनल अमेजिंग एंड then benedict patrick has really good covers uh, the yarns world books are really good and um, a touch of light uh, ashes of avarin series that one also has very good covers and also spf bio 9 they have some really great covers like for example bob the wizard has the one with the controversy it has a very good second cover which is like amazing and so yeah like these are some of my favorite covers do you approach indie reading or reviewing differently i don't think so the only thing is that i if i don't like something i dnf it instead of pushing through and giving it a bad rating so for example i i mean what happens usually is that if i don't like a book i if i have the physical copy of it i feel like you know i need to finish reading it because you know paisa vasool and all that so <laughs> if i am reading a chat pub book and it's not working for me i'll still push through and if i push through a book and i'm not enjoying it i'll be very very irate and i'll give it a low rating and i'll talk about it you know in the review and all that if i'm reading something on my kindle i don't care if i you know like like i don't feel like i wasted money on a book because you know it's going to someone's like it's supporting an indie author at the end of the day it's not going to a big publishing house or something like that so if i don't jive with the book i don't keep on reading it i dnf it and i don't rate my dnfs so you know like indie indie books on goodreads they already have such like few ratings like 10 or 20 people have rated the book or something like that so if i rate a book 2 star or 1 star it's going to bring down the rating a lot so i don't rate my dnfs i don't read finish the books i am not liking and i don't read them so that's the only difference otherwise i'm like see like i treat indie and self pub see so next we have upcoming anticipated indie release so a lot of these books are like first or second in the series the ones that i've read so i am interested in ashes of avalon so that is one that i'm interested in uh the sunset sovereign renia uh, eight chant series um uh, then oh, what do you call it the ruptured sky i don't remember the name of the series but the name of the first book is the ruptured sky so that one then jenny jackson has a retelling of macbeth coming out so that one and so yeah like there are a lot which i am anticipating so, yeah next we have what indie author would you choose to write your story you as a protagonist yikes <laughs> i mean either tim hardy oh no he it's going to get brutal if i select tim hardy no I'm not gonna select Christopher Warman and uh, oh God, how do I say the name? I'm not gonna choose the eight chant writers for this one. Uh, I'm gonna choose not Carl Forsha. He's gonna be devastating. I'm gonna choose E. M. McConnell. 
ये मकॉनल इज ऑथर ऑफ द सर्स ऑफ सॉवरन एंड इज कोजी ड्रैगन फैंटेसी एंड आई वॉन्ट समथिंग लाइक दैट आई वॉन्ट टू बी अराउंड ड्रैगन बट नॉट किल पीपल एंड बी गॉल कोजी एंड स्टफ सो ये मकॉनल और और जेमी जैक्सन लाइक इफ आई वॉन्ट यू नो लाइक अ डेमोस्ट्रेटिंगली हैंडसम गाय इन माई लाइफ एंड स्मार्ट एंड ऑल दैट सो इधर जेमी जैक्सन और ए एम अकॉन सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव एन इंडी फैंटेसी मोर पीपल नीड टू रीड अ क्वाइट वेंजेंस लाइक आई हैव बीन शाउटिंग अबाउट दिस बुक फ्रॉम द रूफ टॉप सिंस आई रेड द बुक एंड आई फील लाइक यू नो मोर पीपल नीड टू रीड इट मोर पीपल नीड टू गिव इट अ शॉर्ट and yeah and also song for the void by andrew c piazza so that is one book that i read last year for the sfbo 8 uh thing and i haven't heard anyone talk about it and i'm like guys come on like this is a good book this is great horror and you know like you should be reading it so yeah and tag some people i'm not going to tag anyone if you are watching this you're tagged you have to do this that's how it's going to work so i'm not going to tag anyone because i can't choose favorites because yeah some one will be eventually left out and they'll feel bad and all that stuff anyway if you are watching this you're tagged and yeah that's All I have to talk about. I'm watching this thing. Is it recording? I have never seen my phone, you know, record an entire length of video without hiccuping at least once. So I'm kind of, you know, like scared that it's not recorded in any way. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. And next one will be my media book freakout tag. So yeah, bye.